Hey guys, what's going on? TM Skin here, and today I'm going to show you guys everything you need to know about your controls on Roblox. Now, first, we're going to start. Oh, wait, this video was made in 2017. Oh, well, I guess I'll make one for 2021. Hi, welcome. Wow! Oh, no, 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 I'm not talking about Levi today. Today, I'm going to be explaining Roblox and game settings and some Roblox hotkeys that you may find useful. Now, I'm explaining roblox settings for you so you go to people and then settings you see a bunch of stuff but don't panic we go through all of them one by one okay so shift lock switch so this is switch for just shift but uh in this game we don't have it it's set by developer so you can press shift on your keyboard and you enter this wheel and you can um it's kind of yeah, you can control your aim, control where you're looking at, and it's pretty convenient for FPS uh, games or attack games such as enemy dimensions. Okay, guess what? This camera mode. By default, is that to classic, the classic mode, uh, which means that you right click to rotate around and. A mouse wheel to zoom in and zoom out but if you set it to follow the camera follows you wherever you go it follows you and it seems a, bit, a little bit dizzy for me so i never opted for this finally we have camera taco i don't know what that is do you know what that is just search it up online i guess but i don't think i would use it anyways movement mode i'm using pc to play so it's currently click to move, but on mobile is is, is tap to move. I click to move it means you click to move. How, how do I click to move? Excuse me. So I click to move. Oh, fascinating. So I click to move. Yeah. So you just click somewhere to move over there without having to use the keyboard. You just need the mouse. Ouch! It scared me! Uh, okay, so yeah. going back, next we have keyboard. You, you use like, you use basic keyboard to move, you know, the up and down, left and right arrows, and also A, W, S, D. Okay, now we have keyboard and mouse. The default settings for mobiles is dynamic thumbstick. Thumbstick tap to move, dynamic thumbstick again. Normally it's just mess the hell out of it to understand, to get a better understanding. Okay, so camera sensitivity. Click to the right for faster rotating. Yeah, and it gets a little bit dizzy. And now when I just move around for a bit. Oh no, I, I, f I fell. Okay, I'd rather go back to my previous settings. And um, someone said that 0 0.18 was the setting for tanker arsenal gameplay. So I don't know if that's true, but I think it's kind of convenient to set it to, to a lower number. But for me, I would choose 0 0.68 for most games. Wait, do you even need a volume guide? Now, full screen. Full screen is the best way to get rid of all distractions. But, I'm, so, but since I'm a multitasker, no thanks. For graphics mode, you can either choose automatic or manual. I love manual since I can toggle for better performance or better graphics. Click to the right for better graphics and to the left for better performance. Um, since when clicking to the left, it reduces the graphics, which makes everything less laggy for ya. So the difference is if I opt for better graphics, you can see it has more detail. It has, um, it becomes shadier. No, I mean it has more shade. And um, if I choose better performance, it looks low poly. Okay, you see the performance stats, right? Uh, it's currently off right now, but when I turn it on, you can see these stats. And 
putting the ma um, all the silly chibi. Most importantly, ping. Ping reveals whether your game is laggy right now. So my game is pretty laggy because it's um, way over 100 ping. Under 100 ping means great performance. But okay, over but over that number, you see. It's quite hard to move around. I think by far the most underrated setting is Micro Profiler. I don't know why no one talked about it. So, uh, but it's a pretty interesting thing to know. You should get to know it. You see that orange line appears when you uh, enable your mod Micro Profiler, and when you press ctrl p voila this should come up i see this greenish board with lots of tasks being performed at that point so press ctrl p again to escape that you can go back to roblox menu now the more interesting thing here is that you can zoom in and zoom out by scrolling your wheel your mouse wheel or Right click. I don't know how to, that works, just experiment with it. Uh, you may question, like, how can this be useful, Nozzle? I don't even know, don't ask me. Okay, so now we have camera inverted. How does camera inverted work? When I move up, I actually move down. And when I move down, I actually move up, so it's basically inverted. But I think I'm getting used to it, and my brain actually getting inverted too. You should try to trick your brain with this. Pretty fun. Now we have Roblox Game Hotkeys. First off, we have movement, which is the normal way you move around. Let's go to accessories. So for some game, you can equip tools from one to nine, but there are no tools in this game. Now we have the same. Okay, so backs, not really. This this is it's just the normal settings for some games. But not in not in most games. Just they, they don't have it. Now next we have menu items. We have four shortcuts. So to open Roblox menu you just press escape. The back back hotkey doesn't really work for every game and it's not um, common. I think most popular games have this disabled. Now we have player list. Yeah. I can see my friends by pressing this. And slash for chat. Furthermore, you can send a private message to anyone in the server by clicking on their name. And like this. Just say whatever you want. It's kind of laggy right now. Or you can basically um, press slash W. It's been whisper to anyone. This is for you can whisper to anyone in the server. Okay. But you have to type their name, yeah. Okay, right, next. We have. We have camera shortcuts. Instead of uh, scrolling your wheel, your mouse wheel, you can press I to zoom in and O to zoom out. So O is for out, I is for in. Okay, so now we have um, some helpful shortcuts. The first thing is print screen. Uh, having a moment with friends or uh, just showing your friends your new stars. Print screen. Um, okay, here. There it is. But unfortunately, not every keyboard has sprint screen key. So you can go into set record and take screenshots. Okay, but uh, for the full keyboard, it should look like this. So the print screen key is up here. Yeah. To record a video, press F12. Uh, but a little notice here, it can be F N F12 for some laptop. And now it's in my folder. 
But the problem about Roblox recording is its quality. It sucks. Sorry, Roblox. So the next thing we have is developer console. Well, press F9 for that. You can see the loss in the memory. Memory for sounds. Um, where is it? Here. No sound recognized. Wait. Okay. So you can click to sound here. Um, let me just go. Yeah. There's a change. And the lock. Um, so yeah, you can see the task perform in here. Like I, I recorded a video some minutes ago. So next we have... Um, shift. Really? Does that work? Oh no, not really. I don't think this is a thing. I don't know. Is it really a thing? Please tell me in the comments below. F10 for graphics level. Um, basically, you just press F10 to increase your graphics quality. And you can change it later in a menu. F11 for full screen. So uh, I typicize this. When you have any background um, software running, uh, for example, tiny task here, and you've already assigned some shortcuts for it. So uh, beware of some some Roblox shortcuts. So they don't overlap with your other softwares. Uh, okay, in this case, tiny task has four shortcuts. Um, but F F8 and Control Shift Alt R doesn't overlap with any Roblox shortcuts uh, because print screen in Roblox is for screen capture and F12 is for video recording in Roblox. These three shortcuts reset character, leave game, resume game. Um, only works when you open the Roblox menu, and you see. One of them is disabled. You see the reset character is disabled. So depending on the game you play, it can be disabled. But you can leave or resume. So to leave, press L and resume, press S, exit. That's it. Simple, huh? Alright, thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate if you can comment your video ideas down below. Any crazy video ideas, I don't care and also donate to me in my Roblox group or just contact me via disk for PayPal link okay but just donate because I'm a poor freak